I've had a lot of dye fails and I hope this dress we're trying to dye purple doesn't end up being one of them. First I'm taking it apart and making sure that my pattern pieces fit on the available fabric. I don't always do this but I wanted to make sure that the pattern pieces fit before I spent all this time dyeing it. I heated up my water on the inside soap, but then I took the whole dye lab outside. I want a custom purple color, so I'm mixing two powdered dyes together. I'm going for a Rapunzel purple. Do you guys know what that looks like? Can you picture it in your mind? So it can't be too pink or too blue. I finally got a combination that I thought was going to be perfect, so I shoved the rest of the dress pieces in there. I had a moment of panic because it started to look a little frightening. So I did a risky move and adjusted some of the colors while the dress is in the pot. And it worked! I love this color. With the supervision of the great Ron Swanson, I constructed the rest of the dress. I love this pattern. It came together really easily and was super cute. I'll put all the details in the caption so you can download the pattern and make one for yourself. Here it is, a pretty purple dress ready to frolic in the flower fields. 